woodlands here remind me of home. Ah, Cyrodiil, I do miss you. My husband and I were just recently married. Best offense is a good defense, am I right? What is it, dragons? Good to see you again, friend. Honest pay for honest work. Honest pay for honest work. All right, then. You're in Winterhold. My pa says people like you are the reason no one lives here anymore. What are you doing that for? My pa says elves are bad and not to trust them. Winterhold must have been beautiful back in its day. I wish I'd been around to see it. Are you cold? I'm cold. Excellent! I've been looking forward to this! 
What shall we work on this time? Oh, I do find it tiresome lugging heavy armor around. But if it keeps me safe... <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> felt that too. Right behind you. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? You'd never catch me up this early when I was a student. doing already I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson perhaps another time I'll be right behind you Winterhold may not look impressive, but it has a very rich history. Winterhold was once the capital of Skyrim, you know. Quite an honor. I'm afraid the Winterhold you see before you is somewhat underwhelming. I can assure you, though, that it was quite something in its prime. An early capital of Skyrim, you know. Sadly, the Oblivion Crisis took its toll on Winterhold, in more ways than one. Then, the Great Collapse swallowed most of our beloved city. You may have noticed the college, just to the north there. Very prestigious place. Mages from all over Tamriel traveled here to seek knowledge. After the Oblivion Crisis was over, many felt that magic users were to blame. Elves, to be specific. It created a great deal of tension. A good many dark elves were driven from the city, and people became uncomfortable with the presence of the college. Just about eight years ago, there was a terrible disaster. 
The cliffs overlooking the sea of ghosts collapsed, taking most of Winterhold with them. In the middle of it all, the college was practically untouched. Many of the survivors were suspicious. Some believed the mages were behind the whole thing, and others felt they could have at least prevented it. Archmage Aaron assures me that his people had nothing to do with it, and I believe him. But Winterhold never recovered. Goodness, no. They're simply scholars. They mean no one harm. I've had several conversations with Archmage Aaron over the years. Oh, he's perfectly polite, if a bit guarded. Mm-hmm. Good to see you. Use it right, and you won't feel a thing. Mm hmm. Hello, friend. Use it right, and you won't feel a thing. Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? All right, then. Orc poisons are to be feared, if you wish to trade. Take a look. Until next time.
our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly I know you. involved a dragon. Where was it? Killed several hmm. soldiers oh, I want you, you were getting something for me. Make sure there's a Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Down. Well, yes, allow me to explain. I've also My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. Wonderful! Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. Spells and incantations, for those with the talent to cast them. I have to remember, ward first, then summon. What do you need, my friend? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? I have to remember... Ward first, then summon. Oh. You gonna buy some? Hey, 
I told you not to ask any questions. Here's your reward, as promised. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. <laughs> there once was a hero named Ragnar Vegetable the Red who came Christmas riding to white run from Auroric Looking to stay alive? Hello, Why friend. Take a chance? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Mm -hmm. All meats guaranteed, clean and free from rock joints. <laughs> <laughs> Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Yourself right. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. <clears throat> Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Come to see Balam. Take a look. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The Forge knows the difference. What are you doing that for? Welcome to the Pond Prong. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome to the Pond Prong. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, then. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Have you met? Ah, so you're an alchemist, then. Be careful. The road to Shore's Stone could be dangerous. <laughs> 